All right, guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at the Shatsien UI dialog component and how it's broken and how we can actually fix it. Now, the reason it's quote unquote broken is because if we have a dialog which has, let's say, fairly large content inside, for example, I got a little demo here with a sign up button which opens up a sign up dialog. We've got a decent chunk of content in this dialog. Let's see what happens though if we reduce the screen height. So we can see the dialogue kind of gets clipped on the top and bottom and we can't actually scroll the content of the dialogue. Now to fix this, it took me friggin' ages to fix and the fix is so simple. Also, the fix is outlined in the very first issue on GitHub for the dialogue if you search for dialogue. But I'm gonna quickly show you now how to actually fix it. So if we head on over to the code, the example code for this project, if we go into the components, UI and dialogue, all we need to do is make sure that if we scroll down slightly, we need to make sure that the dialogue primitive.content is rendered within the dialogue overlay. So let's do that first. Let's move all of this dialogue primitive content as children to the dialogue overlay. Let's move that in there like so. Next, we need to remove the left 50% and top 50% on the dialogue primitive content. So let's remove these. We also need to remove the class of fixed and the translate X and translate Y. So let's remove these classes as well. Next, we need to add some classes to the dialogue overlay. So let's go up to the top here for our dialogue overlay. For the dialogue primitive dot overlay, we need to make sure that this displays grid and we want to position the items centrally within that grid. So in here, we can go grid and place items center. So it's this particular class name here, place items center. So this will give a place items of center. And this will only work with the grid if we display grid. So if we save this now and take a look in the browser, if we give it a quick refresh and hit sign up, we can now see that the top doesn't get chopped off. If we bring the screen size down, we can see everything is still centrally aligned. However, there's one last thing we need to do, and that is currently the content is still not scrollable. The dialogue is still not scrollable. So if we quickly head on back to the code, for the dialogue primitive overlay, we just need to set an overflow of auto. Let's save this now and take a look in the browser. Let's open up our dialogue again, and there we go. We can now scroll the contents, or we can actually scroll the dialogue. Now, it took me friggin' ages to actually implement this fix, I had a lot of help with ChatGPT, but then I found after spending probably like an hour trying to fix this dialogue issue, I then found, I thought there must be someone has must have noticed this before. So I went into the GitHub issues and lo and behold, there is actually an issue for the dialogue overflow behavior and the exact same fix that ChatGPT gave me is the suggested workaround. So if we scroll down, I think it's one of these answers down here. We scroll all the way down and it's this particular answer here by Max Hans. It's pretty much exactly the same code and he's already answered this nearly a year ago. So it took me well over an hour with the help of ChatGPT when the answer was staring me right in the face. But hopefully they'll implement this soon as the default behavior in ShadCN UI. Until then, this is the really quick and simple fix for the ShadCN UI dialogue overflow behavior.